clicking on a Go Engineer quick tip video. My name is Bruce Schaller and I'm here to show you the Plastics Advanced module or an introduction to the Plastics Advanced module and what some of its benefits are. This part has been designed by a plastics designer. It's a part that goes down the barrel of a gun to hold it into a rack. So basically they've created a drawing for this part and they've given the drawing to a tooling manufacturer to get some quotes on the injection mold tool. Now this was the working drawing that was handed to the tooling manufacturer. If you look there's some particularly tight tolerances in the diameter of what goes down in the barrel and the direction that this diameter can move. If we come over here to this dimension we've got 0.41 plus 0 0.01, 0.01, or minus 0. So it could really move over in this direction, but it's really tight in the opposite direction in there. So what we really want to do from here is determine our final part dimensions. And the warp module inside the plastic simulation tool allows us to do that. I've gated this part on this side of the part. So you can see I've already ran this part through the plastics program. If I showed you it has a mesh on it that was created. To do the setup for this part takes a couple of minutes. You have to mesh it, you have to tell it what the polymer is, and you have to tell it where the injection location is. From there you can basically go run our Plastics Professional and Plastics Premium module which produces the flow in the pack. This is the next module, the warp. In order to set the model up for it, all you really need to do is right click the warp and say run. That's given that you have uniform tooling for your wall temperatures on your tool. I haven't built in a cooling jacket. That would be the next step to look at in the tool after looking at uniform tooling in there. So this is basically looking at the first steps of the warp module, which again, all you really do is right click and warm, run the warp. On this, it took about it took about 20 minutes to run the entire module. The, the warp section of that is probably about four or five minutes additional to the, you know, the flow in the pack. So I'm just going to go in and look at the effects. In other words, right click on the warp properties. I'm going to go in and exaggerate that a little bit so we can really see it's exaggerated 39 times. But we can see the direction that this is warping is away from the text. In other words, towards that dimension that had the plus, you know, or minus zero, I should say, plus 0.01 minus zero in there. So it's really moving towards this direction in there. So the next step would be to really look at how much it was moving. We can see over on the scale that's that's really way too much. Here's my one to one, but you can see why I exaggerate it. The 0 0.04 is the amount that it's moving, which is a lot larger than the 0 0.00 that we're really allowed to move. This showing me the direction, and I could even be specific with the direction in the Z here and C it's really moving too much in that one direction for me to hit that tolerance of 0, .00 in there. So if I came into here and actually looked at another part where I've gated it on the opposite side of the part, I can go in and run this one where it's gated over here and look at the results and see if by gating it on the opposite side if it's going to move any less in that Z direction and which direction it actually moves in. So I can see it might not be less but if I look at the direction it's actually going to the side that I would want it to go to if I exaggerate this it's not moving over to the left, even exaggerated up. So you can really see the directions that it's going. Here's my overall total.
and it's not warping in. It is warping other directions, but it's not warping towards that zero dimension in there. And I can also see that the total amount in any direction. So I could see that regardless, trying to hold the tolerances that the designer is asking the tooler to hold right in here, right in here, and right in here is just ask this tooler to, you know, jump through a window that, you know, is a pin size whole window. And the tooler really couldn't make a part that was going to be predictable and come out with these dimensions in a fashion that's going to hit manufacturing in an acceptable way. So that's just the basics for the warp module and how it gets set up and the results that you see from our advanced plastics program. Thanks for watching.